Welcome to iNova Science, where curiosity sparks discovery. Subscribe and join the journey. Tiny plastic invaders, brain bound, with every water sip. For years, bottled water has been marketed as pure, clean, and safe. But new research from Concordia University reveals a hidden reality. Bottled water drinkers may be swallowing up to 90,000 more microplastic particles every year than those who stick to tap water. Let's dive into what scientists discovered, how these particles reach our bodies, and why this research might change the way we think about something as simple as a drink of water. To understand how this discovery began, we need to go back to a tropical island where beauty and pollution collided. On Thailand's Phi Phi Islands, surrounded by crystal clear water and white sand, an environmental scientist stood staring at an unexpected sight. Plastic waste scattered beneath her feet, most of it water bottles. That moment changed everything. She realized that plastic pollution wasn't just an environmental issue, it was a human health issue too. So she returned to Concordia University to study what those fragments might be doing inside our bodies. Her team's findings, published in the Journal of Hazardous Materials, are both fascinating and unsettling. Before we explore how they affect us, let's first understand what microplastics actually are. Microplastics are tiny pieces of plastic less than five millimeters long, some are so small that you'd need a microscope to see them. They can form when plastic bottles are made, shipped, or stored, especially when they're exposed to sunlight or temperature changes. Even before you open that bottle, microscopic fragments might already be floating inside. When you drink bottled water, you're not just consuming water, you're taking in tiny bits of plastic that have shed from the container itself. And while that might sound harmless, scientists are discovering it's not so simple. So. What happens when these invisible fragments enter the human body? Once swallowed, microplastics don't always leave the body. Some studies show that they can cross biological barriers, entering the bloodstream and even reaching vital organs. They've been detected in the lungs, liver, and brain. Researchers believe these particles may cause chronic inflammation, oxidative stress, and even hormonal disruption over time. However, the exact effects are still being studied because tracking such tiny particles is extremely difficult. Some tools can see them, but not identify what kind of plastic they are. Others can identify them chemically, but miss the smallest pieces altogether. That means we may be only seeing part of the picture. If we can't yet see all of them, how do we begin to protect ourselves from something so small and widespread? The researcher behind this study says that the key isn't panic, it's education. She emphasizes that drinking from plastic bottles occasionally, like during emergencies, is fine, but using them daily could lead to chronic exposure, which builds up over years. The bigger issue isn't what happens overnight, it's what happens slowly, quietly, and invisibly inside us. While many governments are banning single-use plastics like straws and bags, bottled water often escapes the same level of scrutiny. This study highlights the need to rethink not just how we recycle, but how we consume. Because reducing plastic waste isn't just about saving the planet, it's also about protecting ourselves. Subscribe to iNova Science. See you in the next video.